You want to dance? All right. Ringo loves the hype. He loves the hype. All right. So let's get started. For our biscotti recipe, we are going to need half a cup, four ounces, or 115 grams, a.k.a. one stick of softened butter. Did it soften enough is the question. I think it did. Even though it's only been out for five minutes, what I did is we're gonna be cooking at 325. I have the oven preheating. I took the stick of butter. I put it underneath a bowl. The hot air kind of steams it. It has softened my butter in five minutes flat. Instead of putting it in the oven and melting it, we now have softened butter. Check. I'm looking forward to this. I've tried gnocchi once and it was a small failure. It tasted good, but looks weird. It's tough. I do not have my gnocchi board. It's still at Laura's house. So these aren't gonna be the prettiest gnocchi which is why I decided I have to make biscotti because every recipe I make from here on out needs to be A plus for the good old Instagram, all right? Uh, having gnocchi tonight, but store-bought, hey, store-bought just fine. I'm feeling better, Boogie Main. thank you. Uh, the sauce for tonight's gnocchi, we're not even gonna talk about it. You guys can think about it, but I'm gonna let you guys pick. I'll tell you what we got in here and we'll make a sauce we can either do like a spicy Calabrian chili tomato sauce, like a Fra Diablo. We can do a, we can do a Fontina basil cream sauce. We can do whatever you guys want. That's going to be on your end, Mama Dukes. The one thing I did check was all of my technology today is working. I'm not having any technological failures today. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. Two hours of just checking audio and video today. Tomato sauce or Parmesan cream sauce. Yeah, those are possibilities, right? Uh, we are going to need three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar, two large eggs. Let's get some eggies. Ringo, go lay down. Go to your spot. You got your own camera. You're good. Go to your own spot, Ringo. Keep going. I'm a pro, Annie. I know. So this recipe, guys, cost at least $7,000. This is the world's most expensive biscotti, just because they exist. I do have a dozen eggs. I was, I was contemplating retirement, but I decided, you know what? I really want to cook and hang out. I'll retire at another time. <laughs> Three quarters of a cup of sugar. We got our sugar here. Almond extract, I don't think I have that. We can skip it. All-purpose flour, baking powder, salt, and almonds. Okay. I know I got that stuff. AP flow, oh boy. AP flour. I don't even remember what I just said. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Rich Money. I got that. I got a dozen eggs money. Can we get a Ringo Cam even though he's really always just in the kitchen? I mean... We can play this as long as we need. We can, we can still hang out right here if this thing doesn't wash out too much. Pink Gaming, welcome to the stream. What did I say we needed? Salt. Let's see if we can zoom for you guys. I think we can. A little bit. Okay. Great to see you, Pink Gaming. We need almonds. I already got them. Three quarters of a cup and chopped, okay? Three quarters of a cup and chopped. So how much is three quarters of a cup? You guys know they make half cup measuring scoops. They make one cup measuring scoops. They don't make three quarters of a cup measuring scoops, which means it's always one cup. Minus a little. Okay, so there's our almonds. These are left over from all the way back at our California almond stream. Guess what? Nuts stay very well preserved in the freezer. So if you guys just leave them in the freezer, they'll last you for months, okay? So we got our almonds, we got our eggies, we got our butter. All right, let's measure out this sugar. We're gonna put it right into our bowl. We do need three quarters of a cup of sugar. What if we, what if we invented, all of us here, we'll split the profits, all of us. The three quarter cup measuring cup. 
You know people are lazy out there. Measure twice? I don't think so. Oh, a three quarters cup? I'm gonna buy that, $8.99 plus delivery on Amazon Prime, right? We probably make $2 per sale, sell 100 million of them, good to go. At least 100 million. All right, so half a cup of sugar goes in, quarter cup goes in, that is our three quarters of a cup. And we're gonna throw that in with our butter. Hey, enjoy the pizza, Annie J. I Fiamma, hey, I got a gifted sub. Yeah, smell the farts. Coming in with that BDE. Big Dough Energy. That's right though, smell the farts. You fail a lot, and then you get it, right? All right, so we're gonna put in our stick of butter and our sugar. Does anybody know what it's called when you whisk this together until it's light and fluffy, butter and sugar? It is a technical term in the baking world. And don't judge me. Butter's delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's called creaming. It's called creaming. It goes right along with all the innuendo that we drop in this stream on a regular basis. <laughs> Ringo, you better watch these lights. You broke my last studio lights, Ringo. You ain't breaking any of these. Okay, two cups, one, uh, 284 grams of all-purpose flour. Let's weigh this so we can get the scale out of the way, okay? Let's weigh this and get the scale out of the way. I guess I'll just use a quart. Man, throwing in those last minute desserts like a boss. I needed something sweet, I'm not gonna lie. I'm having those, uh, it's not alcohol cravings. I've been sober, we're coming up on almost four years sober. But I still get those sugar cravings that my body used to, I mean, it's Friday at five o'clock, right? It's five o'clock Friday, like time, time the booze, right? I still get those sugar cravings at five o'clock. I'm feeling better, Fiamma, thank you so much. The only thing I'm not feeling good about is that's the second pizza stream in a row that we've had some problems, and that makes me sad. So next one's gonna be a good one because making pizza is my favorite thing. I don't want that to happen again. And that got me really upset and pretty salty. I'm sure you guys saw. So I was actually gonna take today off because I was just so, with everything that's going on, I was so just overwhelmed. And I was like, nah, let's just bounce back Put your head down, power the fuck through it, right? Power through it, start the weekend off right, make some delicious gnocchi, some biscotti, cinnamon rolls tomorrow. Got gaming streams. Now, don't let the gaming streams fool you. We have a good time. Annie J just went to eat some pizza, right? But don't let the, just because it says gaming stream, that's just what I'm wow. doing. But most of the time, we're just talking about like what we're gonna cook or we're just effing around, right? We have a, a really good time in the chat. So cinnamon rolls, I haven't decided what kind of icing. I don't make just stuff. Yeah, me too, ATDI. Cause Salty's like my on-screen persona. Cause when I'm not like on camera and, and streaming, I'm the guy that like just quietly sits and just keeps to himself. So I'm not the loud and boisterous guy anymore cause I quit drinking, right? Biscotti's breakfast. I agree, badass Amy, I agree. So I'm making it tonight so it can cool so I can do my food photography for it tomorrow morning and have it ready to post tomorrow. And then the cinnamon rolls will be ready tomorrow afternoon when the stream's done. And then I'll food style them and I'll have them ready to post on Sunday. So Instagram's still doing good. I don't know if you guys remember this dish. That was for when I teamed up with a company called Blue House Salmon. They're excellent, they're really nice, and they love my food photography. Well, I got an email today. They are, well, we are teaming up again. They hired me, two more dishes, Blue House Salmon, they'll be here next week. Ooh, B Dean Cal, come on with the rainbow. So we're gonna be doing sponsored posts next week. The best kind of sponsored posts are the ones where the groceries are paid for. So I got a beautiful side of Atlantic salmon coming in. So if you guys have any great ideas for salmon recipes, let me know tonight. Let me know in the gaming stream. Let me know tomorrow. Post it in the Discord, right? Post it in the Discord. 
All right, so let's cream. Let's cream. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. You know, I keep getting spot. Like, I, I'm also probably going to get back with one of my old clothing sponsors. If you guys have ever heard of Into the AM, I love their stuff. It's really unique. It's really cool. But I really need food. I need food sponsors right now. I got some clothes. I got like six t-shirts and two pairs of shoes. I'm good. I need food sponsors. So when I got that email this morning, I was very happy. All right. Let's get ready to cream. Cream. Cash rules everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. That's our dono sound, actually. I don't think that's ever going to change either. All right, let's start creaming. Need pizza sponsors? Uh, no, 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 no. We need flour sponsors. Flour sponsors. I got tomatoes coming pretty, pretty regularly from Bianca De Napoli. All right. I love salmon, but I'm a sauce guy. I love sauces. Rocky, I, I enjoy a good sauce as well. I do enjoy a good sauce as well. All right. You guys know how much I love this knife. This is the new force, right? My Headley and Bennett chef knife. It's an amazing knife. It's a very good like vegetable meat slicing, vegetable chopping, but it's a more delicate knife. Not the best for chopping nuts. So, ooh, faster. I'm gonna make, when somebody does force, I wanna make the lights go blue and red, right? That's the color of the lightsabers, or green and red. Yeah. So get a, I, I call them a junker. There's nothing wrong with this knife. It's a $25 Mercer. Mercer are tried and true, right? Tried and true. It's, it's sturdy, okay? It's gonna last a long time. It's a thicker blade, it's not gonna chip. So that way when you chop your nuts, you're not doing any damage to the knife. Our boy is so much better, Sandy Lou. Thank you for asking. He turned the corner the Why other not? day. He turned the corner the other day. Um, and now he has had three good days in a row. Yesterday was his best day by far. And today, so far, really good. Really good. I'm scared of knives. I only own two, and they both have plastic lids. I hate using knives. Even my butter knife is made of wood. Interesting. <laughs> I wish I had a food processor, but I don't. So I'm just going to chop these. I do not use a fork. I use a gnocchi, uh, gnocchi board. However, my gnocchi board is not here. So guess what we're using tonight? A fork. Which... I hate doing. It's just the chef in me. I hate when I see it. When I go to restaurants, I'm like, oh, they used a fork. It's just a pet peeve of mine. So I have a board, a wooden board that is specific for rolling gnocchi, but it's at Laura's house. So I'm still missing a few things from there. Today is Luke's seventh birthday. So I'll be there next week to celebrate his birthday and I will look for it and steal it back. Or she will gladly give it back. Yeah, he's feeling better. He's got a long road ahead. He still has at least a month of therapy and uh, medicine. So let's just keep our, keep our vibes high, right? Let's just keep good vibes and hopefully it'll just keep going well. Maybe when he gets, when he gets a clean bill of health, I will bake him a cake to celebrate. All right, we're gonna speed up the process. We're gonna speed up the process. Hoochie mom, hoochie mama, welcome. I agree, I got two gnocchi boards, but was wondering, yeah, the forks, it just looks so amateur, right? <laughs> just use a hammer. I could, I could. I don't think my dogs would like that that much. I was talking about Luke. Oh, I can make him a cake. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about Brody. Uh, we already got, Laura's got that all planned out. You know how Laura is. She's got that stuff all planned out. I wish I had my gnocchi board here, which is why I'm probably not even going to get gnocchi pictures. I will, I refuse 
to post. I refuse to post pictures. I refuse to post pictures of. This thing is like bow, it's bowed up, so it's not crushing as good as it should. Of like shit food, like amateurry food, like I don't know. I just think it looks really bad. What everybody should be saying in chat is salty buy a food processor. Ah! Salty, have a coffee so you can think. Do I even lift, bro? I haven't lifted since my early 20s. Like I said, a hammer. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Salty, buy a food processor. I need one. I need one. I want to start making pies. I'm going to start making pies, my own pie dough, which I'm so against, but mainly because all this food that I make, there's just so much of it. And it's so hard to eat it all. So whatever I start making, I want to start selling it. Focaccia, pies, just go to the farmer's market at the culinary school. The thing is like the size of this apartment. There's like six people there and just try to sell it, right? Why not get paid to do what you love? Why not get paid to do what you love? That's called, as Charlie Sheen would say back in the mid 2000s, winning, right? All right, let's just give these a little bit more of a smash. Sourdough breads, ah, I'm good. Breads are good. Charlie Sheen says a lot of things, yeah. No, bread is no, bread is easy. I got that down already. I got that down already. All right. Move to Wisconsin? Hey, I don't know where I'm moving. You guys know I'm probably not staying here for... If I do stay here, it'll be for like one more year after this lease. But I don't really have a reason to stay here. It's a terrible food scene. You know, it's there's no real chance to do what I want to do here. So I don't know where I'm going to go. Do I want to go to the big city? Do I want to go to the Midwest? I don't know. All right, so let's lock it down. We're going to cream. We're going to cream our butter and sugar. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this with this camera. Oh, that's the Ringo cam. A <laughs> little bit. All right, here we go. Cream. Cream that sugar, copter. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy weekend, man. This usually takes between three and five minutes. Thank you for following. Aklia and the bee. So you want to go for about three to five minutes. It should be light and fluffy, okay? I'm going to go check for almond extract. Hey, if you guys have really good eyes, and you guys see this is, is creamed and ready to go, you guys let me know. We got our two eggs here. We got our flour. Salt, we need salt. In all my years of experience, it should take about two to three minutes. Oh, on a good day, faster. Yonky night, let's go, Remnants. Welcome to the stream, my guy. 
Oh, I just got a Dairy Queen coupon. Buy one, get one free flamethrower burgers. Let's go. Cookies? Oh, dude in Mesa. Good to see you. Biscotti. So, yeah, kind of. Since we're making gnocchi, I thought, let's do Italian, right? Let's do Italiano. Now, Dairy Queen used to be pretty good. When they first came out, their chicken tendies were pretty good, and their flame throw burgers were pretty good. But now, like all fast food, like back in the 90s, early 90s, McDonald's Whoppers were like the tits. They were so good. And then all the, all the companies, you know, as things get more expensive, all the companies start cutting costs, and then it got shit, right? McDonald's has been shit for how long? 40 years, always, right? Burger King's Whoppers, my bad. Did I say McDonald's? My bad. Let's start this stream over, cut. <laughs> Burger King's Whoppers, sorry. Let's get that coffee. I wish I had a biscotti to go with this coffee. Tomorrow I shall. Tomorrow I shall. All right, we are perfectly creamed. We are perfectly creamed. Nothing <laughs> like a Burger King Big Mac. This is perfect creaming. How do I know? I looked it up on the internet. Okay, it should be light and fluffy. Okay, let's see our cream. Let's focus, camera. Focus. There you go. Okay, so I didn't look this up on the internet, but I've seen cream, right? All right, it's good, light and fluffy, beat in the eggs one at a time, then add the almond extract, so let's do that. I wish they told you on these things like what speed, right? Like what speed to do this, because they don't. It's like beat it on a one or an eight. In goes the one, so I go right at four, that way, <laughs> Rocky says, I've seen a lot of cream in my lifetime. <laughs> this is looking good. I've watched people bake before. They tried to get me to do pastry once upon a time. And then I would just automatically like fuck it up so I didn't have to do it. Because when I was a young, arrogant asshole chef, I just didn't want to do it. So now we're talking about cream. This is what creaming should sound like. It should sound like a college dorm room at about 3 a.m. on Saturday morning. All right, that's how you know your, your cream is good. Add your almond extract. <laughs> Taste of Travis, what's up? Hey, what you talking about? Willis is here. Let's pause. Let's pause. Hoochie Mama says someone. Can we get a big round of applause for what you talking about, Willis? A beautiful gift from the wish list. We finally have our pasta rollers, everybody. We have our pasta rollers. So a handmade pasta is finally coming back. So excited, because it's my favorite thing to make. All right, beat the eggs in one at a time in a separate bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder, and salt. I could have done this so long ago. So long ago I could have done this. This should be step one. This should be step one. Hey, whisk together your salt, baking powder, and flour, and set it aside. Don't start your shit and then do it. This is bad mise en place. I'm writing a letter to the editor of this mom blog. This is bullshit. This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. Terrible mise en place. I fire people over less in my kitchen. I'll fire. Oh, taste of Travis, no. gifting a sub too. Angel, uh, what is it? Angel Y2K. Yeah. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. 
Thank you for the gift sub, Tasty Travis. Namaste. I think that puts us back over 400. It does. Gracias. Thank you, thank you. Okay, one and a half tablespoons, teaspoons, baking powder, and then one eighth of a teaspoon, which doesn't exist, so I'm gonna use one quarter teaspoon because I use diamond crystal salt, which is less salty, of sea salt or diamond crystal kosher salt. Gavin, thanks for following, Gavin. Dude in Mesa says namaste. Namaste, my friends. Pan Cubano, ah, oh, nice, man. That's one of the first breads I ever made. I was too scared to do stretch and fold and like technical bread. I wanted to find a bread that was just fucking mix it and put it in a pan and bake it. And it was pan cubano. It was the easiest bread I've ever made. I love it and it's delicious. Cause I love me a Cuban sandwich. Cuban sandwiches are one of my low key favorite things. Do I have an Amazon wish list? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think I've seen the link quite a few times. I'm Cuban and I live in Miami. Cuban bread is everywhere. Oh yeah. Love me a Cubano. I think I'm gonna get a Cubano. It's easy, you can't mess it up. You can't, you can't. It's really, really simple, but it's really, really good. All right, so now we're with. Yo, what up, Beach Unleashed? Welcome to the stream. Home Slice. Let's see, Rocky Rock. I got gotcha. you. I don't even know what's on the wish list, to be honest. I got I to gotta update it. All right, so now. Gradually mix it into the butter mixture. Let's go. So we got our flour mix. We're just gonna start slowly mixing it in, little at a time, into our egg, sugar, butter, cream mixture. Hoochie Mama coming in. Thank you, Hoochie Mama, thank you. So far, it's looking pretty good, guys. I don't think I messed anything up yet. The Hubano ham, Swiss, pickles, yellow mustard, mojo, mayo, breaded pork tenderloin crossed between a Cubano and a Huger pork tenderloin. It's a great idea, man. That's solid. I dig it. I dig it. That's pretty good. That's pretty creative shit. Rocky Rock, it's the, the link is in the chat like 10 times now. <laughs> oh, I got you, Rocky Rock. Maybe it's gone. Oh, it's broken now. Okay, so now we're gonna gently fold in our almonds. <laughs> Just throw them all over your kitchen. And now we're supposed to have a very soft dough. Okay. Which we do. Uh, no, it doesn't, Rocky Rock. All right, I need to show a hands in chat. You know you're not supposed to eat any of this raw stuff. Raw flour, raw egg, cookie dough. Like cookie dough, I can see being okay. How many people cannot resist and do it anyway?
Oh man. You're all monsters. Hey, I was born in 1983. I grew up on the jungle gyms that were full, full of rust and jagged edges. They were death traps, right? They were death traps. I feel like my camera's moving a lot tonight. All right, let me just unplug this mixer so we can get it the heck out of here. That's why I didn't get, I didn't have COVID, right? We rubbed some dirt on it. That was our only choice. Or our grandfathers beat the shit out of us. <laughs> no shit, ripe evil. See, I can't do raw eggs, man. That texture just makes me, Ah, never, Copter, never. Well, maybe this time. I heard eggs are causing people death right now. Is that true? People are dying or getting sick from eggs. <laughs> All right. Smell of the farts. How am I doing today? Thank you, man. You hit 100 gift subs this, this month. That is incredible. Thank you so much. All right. Let's see what we got to do. Cover and let the dough chill in the refrigerator. Okay, I can do that. Dying from the price. <laughs> I couldn't pay my mortgage because I couldn't stop eating omelets. <laughs> so this is a very soft dough. Very soft. I'm going to take it out of this bowl, put it into this smaller bowl just to save space, because we got shit to do here. Blood clot, is that what it was? Something I saw, I saw something like that. I saw something like that. Now, this doesn't feel like the last time I made biscotti. This feels so much lighter and like cookie doughy. I think it's gonna be okay. I never feel optimistic, so this could be either a really good thing, like this is gonna be World class. <laughs> or my body and my life is just like salty. That's not success you're feeling. It's impending doom. So we'll find out together here on twitch.tv slash hey, it's me, salty. All right, we're going to chill it 15 minutes. Checking on our boy. You guys see all the steam? I got the humidifier. Ready? You guys want You guys want a cool smog effect or smoke effect for Ringo? Watch. We should see some smog or some smoke start to fall in. Never mind. Now it's way it's blasting over it. Come on, salty. Get the steam right. I tried to get you guys some cool steam effect. It's not working. Next stream takes place in the bathroom. Hey, that's where I do my food photography. Dozen eggs and a Taylor Swift ticket. <laughs> we got a pup cam. Yeah. Paper City. What's up? Welcome to the stream. The light is amazing. What do you mean the light's amazing? That's just my living room light. <laughs> Copter, redeeming the rainbow. Oh, the lighting in the bathroom is amazing. It's okay. It's not as good as the old light. <coughs> not as good as the old light. But it's workable. Like, it's something we can work with. All right, you guys ready to make gnocchi? He's on the move. Where do you think you're going? Oh, he's looking for his W-A-T-E-E-R. W-A-T-E-R. What did I say? W-A-T-T-E-R? All right, let's make some gnocchi. Let's make some gnocchi. No more cutting board needed. Clean your area. <clears throat> One thing I forgot when tasting that cookie dough or biscotti dough 
is that it has almonds in it and I am allergic to raw almonds. So now I got a scratchy throat. <laughs> TGIF vacation just started heading south in one hour. Nice paper city, where are you headed? Where are you headed? Where's my gnocchi recipe? Boys and girls, are you part of our Discord? If so, and you're subscribed to the channel, this recipe for our gnocchi is in our subscriber section. Check it out. All right, let me go check something out here, get all my ingredients out of the fridge. How many eggs do I need? Two eggs. Orlando for three days, Georgia, got a day, then South Carolina, then home. Very nice, my friend. Okay, very important, very important here. This is whole milk ricotta cheese. Okay, what I did, Salty, do you do ramen bowls? Not often, I am, I am one of the people of my age group and that is of the internet, meaning I live here on Twitch, that is like not head over heels for everything Asian, right? I don't like ramen that, I mean, I don't dislike ramen, but I don't love it. It's soup and it's just not my thing. Now, I don't mind it. I like making it maybe once a year, I get really like, hey, Let's go, like let's make some ramen, right? But it's just not a thing that I'm like super duper into. All right, so two eggs, I have I have a towel. So this is what you do with your, uh, yeah, see the Japanese curry? I don't like Japanese curry. I like Thai curry, I like Indian curry, I like Burmese curry, I like Jamaican curry and Caribbean curry. Don't like Japanese curry. Just not into the whole, a lot of Japanese food. Like some of it is good, I'm not into sushi. And I love the flavors. I love the flavors. Actually, I just signed up for, um, with a company. What's the uh, company that makes the aged rice vinegar and, and stuff? Uh, Makusa or something like that? I can't remember. But I just was talking with them before our stream started. And I'm going to be doing some food photography for them. Oh, come on. I just had it. And it's gone. I literally just signed the email. Oh, coffee? No, that's not it. Oh, anyway. Take your ricotta cheese. You guys know how ricotta cheese comes in those 15 ounce containers, right? 15 ounce containers. What you wanna do is take that 15 ounce container, take a very clean kitchen towel, Put the cheese on the kitchen towel and spread it with a spatula, one thin layer, and then wrap the towel over and gently press for three to five minutes and drain all the water. That 15 ounce container became 11 ounces. All the water is gone. If you don't do that, your gnocchi is gonna be mushy and it's not gonna hold the shape. And Mod Drummer's in the house. I don't believe it. Welcome to the new place, Mod Drummer. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas. What's up, man? So, after 15 ounces, it has turned into, yeah, I see you redoing your house, man. I'm so happy for you, bro. Welcome back home to the States. The 15 ounces of ricotta drained has become 11 or 12 ounces, okay? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our eggs. I have used four eggs in this, in this stream so far in one hour. Do you understand the life of luxury it takes to do this. Whew. Right? Two eggs into our ricotta, mix it gently. The number one mistake for making these gnocchi is over mixing. Over mixing the eggs in ricotta. Over mixing the flour in there. Developing the gluten. Don't wanna do that. Thanks, man. We have hype lights, Mod Drummer. Like, 
I made all those things I was supposed to do in 2016, 2015 happen. We now have Twitch integrated lights. Soon we'll have them for the gaming stream. We got professional lighting in here. Yeah. Can somebody show Mod Drummer how these things work? Mod Drummer is one of the, the OG Salty Army folks. He actually bought me my first gaming PC on my birthday back in the day. So we are just stirring our eggs into the ricotta to combine. All right, Mod, I guess you're going to, you'll just have to wait, Mod. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I need two more sets and then we're complete. What up, Sandoval? Welcome. Two eggs into our ricotta just until smooth. This you can kind of mix and it's okay. I'm feeling better, Sandoval. Thank you. I can breathe. <clears throat> oh, don't get me started, my drummer. <laughs> so this we can mix it's egg and it's cheese it's okay taste of travis says all aboard let's get the train going i'm gonna go get the conductor's apron <laughs> <laughs> so nice smooth mixture here okay nice smooth mixture eggs ricotta now we are going to add our flour parm salt and pepper to this and do not over mix the flour has gluten when it over mixes then it starts to get tough so we need to measure out 120 grams, AKA one cup of either double zero or all purpose flour. <clears throat> In the spirit of being Joe Everyman, I'm just gonna use all purpose flour. You guys don't need that fancy double zero flour, right? 120 grams or one cup. 120 grams or one cup. This is why it is important to weigh it. I'm gonna get one cup. And I'm gonna show you just by scooping one cup how much it weighs, okay? Everybody's scoop will be different, right? So for me, I think this is one cup. It's scooped, it's leveled. <laughs> 170 grams. 170. That's how far off this shit could be, right? So that being said, chill, right? We are going to need four ounces, uh, three quarters of a cup or one ounce of grated Parmesan cheese. I know I got that parm somewhere. Where are you, son of a bitch? Let's do it. Taking notes, Pog. I will own only Sam. Take those notes. Take those notes. Always weigh only Sam. Gotta weigh it. One ounce. One ounce. Or three quarters of a cup. This recipe I always struggle with because their recipe notes are terrible. Where I adapted this from, my recipe that I have for gnocchi is to make 16,000 pieces of gnocchi. Literally. So, let's see, three quarters of a cup is how many uh, grams? Three quarters of a cup is not one ounce or not, you know, so figure out what works for you. This is 1.2 ounces. Is that three quarters of a cup? No. But we're going to do it anyway, all right? And some more. We're going to do this all by feel. We're going to do it all by feel. Okay, so cheese is in, salt, pepper will go in. I'm making a mess. Let's fix it. <clears throat> Mod drummer, as I was saying, not something we've had many of this year. We are in one of those, uh, we're, we're in hibernation here, the Salty Army. <laughs> we're in hibernating mode. 
Edible, smells nice, looks nice. What are we talking about here? Creole, Japanese, Italian. It's pretty good. Bud Lit, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Salt and pepper. Where the hell is my salt and pepper? Here we go. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Keep having a drink. One quarter teaspoon of black pepper, finely ground. Or you can use white pepper if you want. I prefer to use white pepper. Boom. And now we stir. We're going to start by putting in about two thirds of this flour. Okay. And then we'll save the rest and we're going to mix the rest in as needed, as needed to make our dough, right? Probably a bigger bowl would be best. So Taste of Travis says Creole, Mexican, Italian. I'm gonna have to say mine are, it's so tough. I really don't know. Mexican, uh, in no order, Mexican, Italian, and French. If Appalachian counts, then Appalachian. Thank you, Budlet. Yeah, Appalachian is semi-southern, but that's kind of like my favorite. All right, so we're gonna lightly start mixing our flour into our ricotta mixture. They say 120 grams, right? Yeah, we're talking about favorite cuisines. They say 120 grams of flour, which this is. This doesn't look like gnocchi dough. This looks like our creamed butter and sugar. So that's why you kind of got to do it on your own and figure out, is it supposed to be the 120 grams or is it supposed to be 160, which is one cup, right? So we're going to add it if, you know, as we need to. Pocket, welcome to the stream. How are you? Howdy, howdy. Happy Friday. There you go. There you go, Mod. One man lands. Thank you for the bits, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too funny. Hey! Mod drummer. Like I said, man, we're in a bad place. If you want hype, this is not the place to go looking for it, my friend. We, we are in trouble. Whoa! This is not the, this is not the stream you were looking for. <coughs> you didn't know? Cream! I like that. <coughs> Let's make our dough. Let's make our dough. Thank you, guys. All right, this is our chance. This would be our first level two complete of the year. So thank you, guys, for your amazing... Oh, my God. God, please, no, 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 no. Whoa. Riding on the Smoke if you got him. Level nine. This is officially our highest, our, this is our largest hype train ever. Official. We've never gotten past level five, ever. And never made it to even a level two this year yet. We've never completed a level two in 2023. So Mod and everybody, Pocket, Faster, Twinderella. My goodness. At the drive-in. I can't even scroll back that far. Taste of Travis. One man land. Thank you, guys. Pocket, thank you. Thank you all. Faster, thank you. Throw your hands in the air if you 
Thank you. Thank you all. Man, it's been a tough start to the year. Thank you guys. This is incredible. Everything with Brody and stuff, this means a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. So here's our dough. It is sticky, which means... Love you, Salty. You're the best, man. He's been in the hospital three, three times, Mod. Three times Brody's been in the hospital. He had a lung infection, and he was drowning himself with fluid in his lungs. Yo, what's up, Geek Boy? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Mod Drummer, thank you. So that 160 grams of flour, not enough. Not enough. We're going to keep adding our flour until it's a drier dough that we can work and actually handle. Pocket, I'm doing well. I'm doing much better today. Living Martyr Report, thank you for the subs. We made it to level 10. Okay, that's it. This is all we need. We're good now. So I doubled the flour almost in this recipe. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better call Thank you, guys. Somebody. Thank you. Thank you for the love. Smell of the farts. Started it all. Thank you so much, smell of the farts. Oh, you didn't know? This Nalki stream was a somebody. fucking blessing. It is one of my favorite things to make, smell of the farts. It truly is. Um, this gnocchi, wow, you guys. This gnocchi, this gnocchi literally is what led me to work in Charleston at my first James Beard nominated stream was because of their ricotta gnocchi. It is my favorite dish. Thank you, guys. Yo, creme the list. The donuts were great, man. It's great to see you. Uh, Dr. Penguin, yes. That's all I know is yes. Donuts were great, man. Donuts were great. They did not last very long. You got it. Nope. I went in. I just worked with them. All my bits and tax write-offs go to Salty Laughing Face. Thank you. Thank you, Faster. Thank you, Mod. Thank you, everybody. So now we're going to make our... Well, I didn't learn, I mean, yeah, I didn't learn this dish. I didn't make it. They had the, they had a, they had one chef there, right? He was awesome. And all he did was make pasta all day. That's all he did. All pasta was handmade, everything, everything made from scratch. But this dish was the first thing I ate there. And it was divine. It is Laura's favorite restaurant. It's my favorite restaurant. And this is our favorite dish. Laura actually introduced me to it. What a community, what a community. Thank you guys and girls. Well, I just give bits for fun. <laughs> um, I guess all of our bonus streams. I guess all of our bonus streams are happening this weekend, huh? Tomorrow, cinnamon rolls, PM gaming stream, tonight, gaming stream. Thank you guys. Trifectas in cine rolls tomorrow level 11 this is never happened this is this, this is crazy all right i don't know what to do a weekend with salty guys a weekend with salty brody is feeling better i am feeling better let's hang i didn't get to hang with you guys much the last couple weeks i got a roll of dough okay it's like a hockey puck that's the ringo cam whoopsie daisy ringo's not impressed guys <laughs> Ringo's not impressed. He's just hanging. Chef John, what's up, my guy? Chef John, did you get my message? I got to work on Tuesday. I picked up a shift. Now we're going to cut it into eight pieces. Very wet, so handle it lightly. Okay, we don't want to handle this a lot. We're going to handle it lightly. So cut it in half, cut the half in half, then you got a quarter, cut the quarter in half, you got an eighth, okay? Repeatable 29 said had to fire the kid that works on our lawn. 
He couldn't cut it. F M L L O L. Looks like this is how you cut scones. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. This is how you make scones. 100%. All right. Let's go ahead and get our sheet tray. This one's warm. Let's not use that one. We're going to take a sheet tray. Master coming in with a $25 holler. Finishing off the grocery fund. Oh, baby. Thank you so much, my guy. Oh, Jay Willie coming in. Fire. Your ass better come. How are the pita pockets? They're gone. They were so good, pocket. I know this is going to lead to a lot of innuendo, pocket, but man. I, I ate those pockets right up. <laughs> no amount of innuendo could do in this situation. More bits for fun. Don't do this. Don't do this. Not with everything going on. If there's, I'm gonna break with the whole thing with Brody and everything. I can't, I can't really do too much more. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, man. It's just, thank you. Thank you. We're gonna roll our gnocchi. I love you guys. Ready? So now we take that pie wedge gently. This, is, this has to be so gentle. Okay, and we're gonna roll it just like you're flashback to being 10 years old, maybe seven, okay? And you're playing with Play-Doh. And you go to your mom and you're like, hey, ma, look what I made. It's a wiener. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. <laughs> okay, very softly. Try to use as least amount of flour. Right? Least amount of flour as possible. <laughs> Love me some wieners. Okay? That's all you gotta do. I like doing this when it's cold. It's much easier to work with. So, why don't we do that? Munchies gifting a sub. Thank you, Munchies. Happy weekend. But then essentially we cut it, right? These small little pillows. The more gnocchi, the better, right? Your ass better call somebody. Oh, it's lit. What up? Thank you for the $10 holo, my friend. And what we're left with are these beautiful little dumplings and pillows. Thank you guys for the most amazing train in the history of my stream. We have never gotten to double digits before. We've never actually gotten to level six before. Thank you Taste all up so for much Visa for that. told my wife I was going to make a vehicle out of spaghetti and she didn't believe me. You should have seen her face when I drove pasta. <laughs> Thank you guys. That was incredible. I almost cried. Thank you. It's uh, very humbling. Very humbling. Thank you. I'm going to find the smallest fork that I have, like a salad fork, okay? This is how we're going to do it. You take these little pillows, you take them on the fork, and you just roll it gently. And there's your gnocchi. Come on, don't look at my face. Focus on my hand. That's it. No, there was never a level 15 mod drummer. <laughs> no, that was the highest we've gotten ever by far. You don't even have to do, you don't even have to do the fork. I think it actually Based looks worse. Trubby said I couldn't figure out why the baseball was getting bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> nice. I dig this. Little puns and jokes changing the colors. I'd rather actually, Munchies, thank you for the bits. 
Thank you, my friend. I would actually rather not put the fork marks and leave them without it. I think the fork marks just look so bad. Like so janky and ghetto. Sexy Brutal, what's up, man? I'd rather just leave them in little dumplings. All right, so let's just continue to roll these out. I should have made a quarter of a recipe, right? Do the fork marks make it taste bad? No, but they just don't make it, they, it does nothing for it. It just makes them look like a, just bad. <laughs> like it just looks so cheap. Munchies, thank you for the bits. I have a gnocchi board, it's at Laura's though. My gnocchi board is at Laura's house. I didn't bring it over when I moved. So too much flour, too soft. I don't know. We're going to get it. Okay, there we go. She's got to be super gentle. What's a gnocchi board? So it's a little paddle about this big and that wide. And it's wood. And it just has these grooves in it. And you roll the gnocchi down the grooves. And it gives authentic gnocchi look. And that groove is there for a reason. It holds the sauce, right? Holds the sauce. Sexy Brutal, enjoying the stream. Hope you're feeling better. I'm feeling much better today. Much better today. Thank you. So now I'm going to increase the size of the gnocchi because less work. So what I do is I cut it. It turns into a pillow. And then I pinch it. And it becomes a sexier pillow. Like a sexy, brutal pillow. Hell's Bells, what's up? I am better. Thank you very much. Yes, I was very sick yesterday. It came out of nowhere. I didn't feel sick during work. I got home from work. Just death. Me and Brody, just death. Maybe I, maybe what I did was I had so much compassion for Brody that I just, I took his sickness for myself, you know, which I would, I, I'm one of those crazy people that would, that would do that. <laughs> like if there was a car coming, I would like jump and push Brody out of the way and sacrifice myself for my dogs. That's me. Exhaustion? Probably. Probably. My immune system's probably just shot blood oath. I don't think I've drank anything but Diet Coke and coffee in five weeks, right? Like no water. I don't think I've had a vegetable. I think I've eaten pizza, pasta, and bread, right? Drink some water. All right. Yeah, I probably should drink some water. All right, let's get some. I, I had a little bit of water out of the mason jar on stream, right? I had a little bit of water out of the mason jar on stream that one time, two times. So, start thinking about what kind of sauce. Yeah, there's some veggies on pizza. Exactly. Start thinking about what kind of sauce. I have a couple options due to the ingredients I have, okay? I have fontina cheese. I have ricotta cheese. I have mozzarella cheese. I have tomatoes, ground tomatoes. I have heavy cream. We can definitely do... We could definitely do a tomato and basil. Yeah, it's pretty basic, right? We could do like a Fontina cream sauce, Fontina and basil cream sauce, something like, like a little different. No, oh, we'll take a look. Later, Tater, can't wait for the pasta pillow picks. I don't think any picks are coming out of this one faster. No picks tonight of this. We'll have picks of the biscotti and the cinnamon rolls this weekend because I don't have the pasta board. Oh, Blood Oak. That's terrible. <laughs> I can't even <laughs> Vodka sauce? No vodka in the house. I'm sober. I got no vodka. <laughs> That's terrible, man. <laughs> I tried so hard not to laugh. I can't help it. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> it 
<laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like sweating. I'm laughing so hard. Oh my goodness. Oh dear Gord. It's not, it's not nice at all. It caught me, it caught me off guard because Blood Oak is such a nice person. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> I don't think they're as sensitive in the Netherlands as we are here. Maybe that's what, maybe that's what it is. It just caught me so off guard. All right, so I'm pinching our little pillows, right? Our little gnocchi pillows. And then after these are all cut and put aside, I'm going to put them in the freezer. Most people are like, Salty, fresh food's always better than frozen food. Okay, check it out. You guys want to see how soft this gnocchi is? This is going to be waste for science, but watch. This is how soft this dough is. Okay? It's soft. It's delicate. If you mush it like this, it immediately will turn, look, into goop. So you have to handle it very, very delicately, right? It's almost like a batter. If you push with too much pressure, it turns into liquid. So, that being said, when you make these gnocchi, if you put them in the freezer for 15 or 20 minutes, a half hour overnight, hell, you can store them for six months. Why is this shit flashing? What happened? Why is that flashing? Right? If you put them in the freezer, it holds their shape better. Yeah, me too. Me too, Blair. Fun fact, I've never had gnocchi. Pocket, we're gonna have to change that somehow, some way. Maybe TwitchCon 2024 or SaltyCon 2024. SaltyCon, we're still waiting on SaltyCon. It's been nine years. We ever said if this stream ever took off one day and I made this my career, we would have SaltyCon where you guys would just come somewhere and I would just feed you all and we'd hang out and get drunk and play video games, right? Still hasn't happened yet, but I'm only, you know, I still got a good 30, 40 years on the earth. I freeze my gnocchi, yeah. My donuts always get sticky on my hands too, says Mod. <laughs> Twinderella clipped it. I'll bring a brisket. There you go, man. I love it. <laughs> All right, so we're making our little flowery, flowery snake penis looking thing. And we chop it nice and quick. I always forget that after I show you guys like how to do it once, I don't have to like still show you guys so slowly. Like I can kind of speed things up. <laughs> All right, so check it out. I have a great question for you guys. If we had SaltyCon, I would probably have it take place in Atlanta, probably Atlanta, just because it's like the hub of the Southeast, right? What would, and you guys had to bring a dish. No, nah, Atlanta's amazing because it's got an amazing food stream. Amazing, or amazing food scene, not stream. This is a good food stream. Food scene, one man land, yeah. So. Atlanta is not too far from here, and Atlanta is actually the busiest airport in the world. A lot of people don't know that. Busiest airport in the world. Um, what would be your one dish? SaltyCon 2024 in Trenton, New Jersey? That's where, I, that's where I was raised. You guys want to go to Trenton, pack your bulletproof vest, okay? One dish, I'd do a prime rib. What would you guys bring as your one dish, right? Huge hub in Atlanta, that's what it is. One signature dish that you guys just fucking crush. What would you bring, right? The Hubano says, taste of Travis, his new concept. Pocket would bring herself the snack. Salty Army snack, Pocket, bringing herself well, then we got to figure out what type of packaging that the pocket snack comes in. Is it like a candy bar wrapper or beef jerky bag? Taco salad? Love taco salad. 
Oh, oh, look at that. Annie J would bring, Annie J would bring pickles. Or, no, Annie J would bring tater tot hot dish and pickles. That's what Annie J would bring. I'd bring my, I, or maybe I'd bring a Boston butt, says Boogie. I like it. I don't know what I would bring. I mean, I guess I would have to do pizza, right? Salty Fest in Nome, Alaska. I'm in. I guess I would have to do pizza. Where would you hold it? Oh, yeah, I couldn't make pizza. I mean, oh, I don't know. Um, Boogie, this is just like a... We're, we're a solid, like, 10,000 subscribers away from making this happen. <laughs> like, this is if I ever, for some reason, I got my shit together and became one of those awesome streamers, you know? That can just... You know, I ain't got it. I ain't got the power of the gab. I'm not like, uh, I'm a little socially awkward. I'm not the best at commentary. I'm not the best talker. Kind of scary looking, right? Dude, you have over 30K followers? That doesn't pay my bills. <laughs> 27,000 of those followers are from my gaming streams between 2014 and 2017. Only about 5,000 of my followers are from cooking. So I'm a very small, just blip in the Twitch universe, you know? So all of my followers came from gaming. Not a lot of followers from food and drink. All right, there's our gnocchi. They're going in the freezer. Did you have a long break? Yeah, I was off of Twitch for a good year. Year, I took about a year off. Took about a year off. Okay, gnocchi into the freezer. That way they can harden and set. There's something taking up too much room in my freezer. I don't think it can be here anymore. I'm just gonna have to get rid of it. Yeah, what's up, B Dean Cal? I guess as soon as I'm done and I clean up and walk the dogs, I'm thinking maybe nine ish. Don't judge me, okay? I always have this. You never know when you're gonna need it. What if some girl shows up and is like, hey, you wanna do that thing from Varsity Blues? And I'm just like, I got trouble cool with. It's the extra creamy. It is the extra creamy. <laughs> yeah, I'm 39. I just recently became single. Okay, this is like the first time I've been single for a month in like 15 years, literally. Literally probably the first time I've been single in 15 years, right? If I wanna eat Cool Whip out of my freezer, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Right? Cool Whip. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that, man? All right, let's clean our counter, because now it's time to make biscotti. Biscotti. Let's see what our boy's up to. Hello. What are you doing over there? All right, let's get rid of all this stuff. Make some room, do our thing. I forgot about the biscotti for a second there. You guys in that hype train, record setting hype train, record setting hype train. Oh, Ringo, I can't say no to you, sweet boy. There you go. All right, Let's see where we're at. By the way, now to cook those gnocchi guys, boiling water, 
45 seconds. Whenever they float, they're done. We'll do that a little bit later. Let's go back and check this out. Fold in the almonds, put it in the refrigerator. Once chilled, divide the dough into three portions, each portion into a log about one and a half inches in diameter. Well, how long? What the, what? what? That doesn't make sense. See, I just make a log and then I cut it. This one's like one and a half inches in diameter is like this. What the fuck does that even mean? <clears throat> Once uh, divide the dough into three portions, roll each dough into a log about one and a half inches in diameter. It's a log, it's not a circle. I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> Twinderella is the master clipper. Thank you, girl. I'm doing this on my own. Okay, what I like to use. Silpat, okay. I'll put this out. I'm just gonna divide it in half. Bake it. Annie J, welcome back. I guess you can wet your hands. It'll help the dough not stick. I think it means one and a half inches in thickness, not diameter, right? I'm doing this the way I know how to do it. I shouldn't have put that other... That looks about eight inches. Annie J, that's at least three feet long. That's at least three feet long. Huge. This, six foot. I don't know how to do this. This makes no sense. Internet inches. That's above average, says Pocket. <laughs> I think I'm just going to do it like this, and then I'm going to cut them. So that's what we're doing here. I don't know if it's going to work. Make a rectangle? That's pretty much what I did. That's what I'm doing. This is how I know. I make a rectangle. Rectangle-ish. It's very sticky. This is gonna be biscotti, so it's like a very sticky cookie dough. The stickier it is, though, the nice it's gonna be nice and light and airy, right? It's not smooth. You guys saw nothing. It'll smooth out as it bakes, though, because it's gonna melt, right? And I also have a silicone mat, right? Or I also have a silicone spatch that I can smooth it out with. Or an offset spatula, to be honest. I like this recipe a lot. I read the first five sections. I was like, this is perfect. Easy. And then I got to this part, and I'm just like, oh, I don't like this recipe anymore. Yeah, well, the, well, the thing is, when they're that wet, right, that moisture cooks out because biscotti means... Cook twice. Biscotti, bis, two, like bicycle, binoculars, right? Biscotti, cook twice. Koto means cook. There we go. There we go. There we go. This is what I needed. I did it. I'm smart. Okay, we're just going to rectangle it up. All right, 325 degree oven for 40 minutes.
All right, I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Now we have to cook our gnocchi. We gotta cook our gnocchi. The more I clean up, the quicker we get into our gaming stream and our gaming stream is also our menu planning stream. Because of today's epicness, um, we can do a little bit more than cinnamon rolls tomorrow if you guys want. So think about what we want to do for brunch. I'm definitely starting with cinnamon rolls and uh, we'll go from there. Get a pot of water, pot of water, full stop tea, pot of water, full stop tea. Aiden, what's up, my friend? What kind of icing are you planning for this cinnamon rolls? I'm not. I'm not planning. Figure we do it together on the fly, right? The chef's way. Aiden, I'm doing okay, man. How are you? I like to let you guys choose stuff. I don't even have a sauce for this gnocchi yet. I don't know what we're making. Who that? Who that? I can't read from here. I need bigger chat. Whoa! Loudy Bear, what's up, man? Que pasa? Show me, show me that butt. All right. Barbecue, Boston butt coming up. Just trying to cover my tracks, okay? Just trying to cover my tracks here. Let's see, gnocchi done. What you got cooking? Today we are making ricotta gnocchi. They are in the freezer right now. They are setting. They are gnocchi instead of being made with potato, they are made with ricotta cheese. In the oven right now we have almond biscotti. And that's it, kind of a nice chill stream. We're trying to think of a sauce. I'm trying to think of a sauce for our gnocchi tonight. So I'm thinking about doing a Fontina. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I moved. I'm back in a batch pad. So it's, you know, just me and the dogs and doing our thing. So I figured I'd, I'd get another Twitch studio kitchen after a long time of having to set up all my lighting and my cameras and my microphones and my tripods and the computer and the stream deck and then breaking it down after every stream. I want it to be somewhere where I can just leave it up. So this is what I got right now. I'll take a picture of the setup. It's coming together. I just need some wire management. I need some wire management for, uh, so if you guys know how to do wire management, come help out. So there's what the kitchen's kind of looking like right now. We got the panel lights. So we're doing it. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is my own little, my own little jam here. Going back to GoldenEye on Xbox. Peace out, enjoy it. Looks awesome, yeah. I just need wire, just need some wire management. That's it, just need some wire management. We're good. Looks like my bedroom. <laughs> All right, salt in our water. Let that gently come up to temperature. All right, I'm gonna make a Fontina cream sauce. That cool with everybody? Fontina cream. <laughs> Don't know what Fontina is. So Fontina is a semi-soft Italian cheese. It's melty, it's mildly nutty, um, creamy, creamy nuts, balls. It's, yeah, it's nice soft cheese. Fontina cream or Fontina cream? No, Fontina cream sauce. Creamier the better. <laughs> you, oh, you guys. All right, where's my Fontina at? Oh, there's so much cheese in here. I got Fontina, I got mozzarella, ricotta, parmigiano. 
Let's just do a Fontina cream. Do a Fontina cream. Oh, by the way, everybody, tomorrow's cinnamon buns, cinnamon rolls, cinnamon rolls. Tomorrow's cinnamon rolls. Not just regular cinnamon rolls. That's boring. Buttermilk cinnamon rolls. Super ooey gooey, creamy, sticky, gooey. <laughs> I don't know. That's what we're doing tomorrow. All right, so this is going to be very easy. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? First thing you do, taste that fontina. Nutty, creamy, little tangy, melts really well. Easiest sauce in the world to make. <laughs> do you realize what you're saying to me? What am I saying? Look, somebody wants some. Look. Four ounces Fontina, four ounces cream. Like this sauce cannot, cannot be any easier, right? Creamy, sticky, gooey, scrub racing. Sometimes you gotta put some work in. Treylani, what's up Treylani? Your ass better call Sub number 74 on the night. Give yourselves a round of applause. Four ounces. Fontina, four ounces heavy cream. That's how you make a cheesy cream sauce. You don't gotta make a fancy roux. You can literally just make, this is like essentially making queso for pasta, right? It's like Italian queso. It's fromaggi, right? It's fromaggi. I would like to measure, Ringo, watch your noggin, bud. I like to measure my cream and my cheese. Oh, this is my favorite copyright free jam. Oh, I'm a mess. <laughs> Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> Look at that. Little chef's trick for you. Well, if you want something amazing, what about caramel pecan cinnamon rolls? Pecan or pecan in the chat? Pecan or pecan? Pecan, right? Pocket, that is my favorite cinnamon roll. Consider it done. Caramel, pecan, buttermilk, cinnamon rolls. Creamy, nutty, sweet, gooey. Forgot to put it back on, Alex. Pecan. Pecan is something that a truck driver uses, okay? Caramel, sweet, pecan, pecan, nutty. Cinnamon rolls, gooey. It's as sexy as a brunch dish as you can get. All right, let me write it down. Buttermilk, pecan, caramel. All right, so while we're on this, pecan, pecan, is it caramel or caramel? Caramel or caramel? All the ingredients are pretty simple too. I've got everything I need already. Ready to go. I don't have to go to the grocery store. That's my favorite. No, never, if you guys think there's something technically wrong with you and your, your equipment, go salty, what did you fuck up? Because you guys know me. You guys know me. It's always me. <laughs> this is not my strong suit technology. Bruce, our tech guy, he's on vacation. So I've had all these problems. So there's two ounces, 4.1 ounces. I <laughs> got him. Oh man, I'm gonna have a belly ache. I'm gonna have a belly ache. I'm lactose intolerant. So let's pour in the cream. You guys want to make ice cream tomorrow? I got leftover heavy cream. Who's down for ice cream? We can make ice cream first thing in the morning. 
caramel pecan ice cream, caramel pecan ice cream, caramel pecan ice cream, caramel pecan. Did I cover everything? Oh, you didn't know. Nader Chaser. Thank you for the sub, You're my friend. That is 75 on the night. Thank you. How lovely. Yes. All right. Ice cream. I possibly can make buttermilk ice cream. I love buttermilk ice cream. Have you guys ever had buttermilk ice cream? As a chef, you always just have to, now the key to being a successful chef, at least when it comes to business or getting a job and being creative, right? Is you just take something that everybody knows and you make it just like a little bit different. Oh yeah, this is my sandwich with Onion. Oh, this is no. This is this isn't uh, onion focaccia. This is charred onion focaccia. Oh, I see. I see. No, this isn't strawberry ice cream. It's buttermilk strawberry ice cream. Oh, oh, okay. Gotcha. So it's like two dollars extra. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Gotcha. All right. Buttermilk ice cream has an amazing texture to it. It's extremely creamy. And it's nice and tart. So it almost comes in like, um, you guys ever have frozen yogurt, right? You guys ever have frozen yogurt? Think of the heaviness and creaminess of ice cream with a tang of frozen yogurt. It's the greatest thing ever. I just want to rub it all over my body all the time. Yo, Avenge Canadian, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you today? We're going to melt our cheese into our cream. What the hell are these things blinking for? Yeah, it's good. A little bit of salt and pepper. It's really all you need to make a cream sauce, okay? Now, don't go putting black pepper in that beautiful, white, creamy, salty sauce. White pepper, please. I grew up in Trenton, New Jersey. White Pepper was my nickname in high school. It wasn't. It wasn't. All right, we're just gonna stir and let this melt over low heat. Check our biscotti. I don't think those are gonna work out. <laughs> Why white pepper over black? Because it's a white cream sauce. So we don't want pepper floating around in it. You know, like that's like sawmill gravy from Cracker Barrel for your country fried steak. We want this to be just a white blanket of goodness. Chef. I got confused on the recipe, okay? They're gonna be fine, Annie Jay. <laughs> now, Carrie, happy Friday. How are you? Welcome to the stream. So, we are just heating our milk, our cream over medium ish, low ish heat. Ringo, what are you doing? Don't sit there like that. Don't beg. Just go be cute over on your bed. All right, let me check my uh, let me check my notes. Do I have notes? my notes somewhere. Ah, oh, let's throw some butter in there. Butter, nutmeg, right? Is wine halal? You're asking the wrong person. I know nothing about halal, man. I am Roman Catholic as F. Or at least I was raised Roman Catholic as F. I know nothing about halal. All I know is you're supposed to buy it to maximize your profits. So when people say, is this halal? You can say yes and sell it to them and you don't lose business. I know that's the only reason that people find it important in the restaurant, <laughs> in the restaurant industry. I mean, I assume you don't consume alcohol if you're Muslim. So I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think so.
Muslim people still drink? Oh, I didn't think they could. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I cook for a living. There's a reason. That's all I do. What happened to my light? What happened to my light? What is this? How would a doctor know that? What if they have a doctor in world studies? I'm a doctor, not an engineer. Well, I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. I'm a doctor, not an escalator. I'm a doctor, not a coal miner. You heard it. Hello, so. <laughs> back, youngin. <laughs> I like that. Hello, back, youngin. Ooh, ooh. What happened to my lights? You guys want to see this sexy cream sauce? Oh. Mormons don't drink or consume caffeine. That I know. That's why they drink, what the hell is it called? Oh, what was their shit coffee called? I can't remember. Sanka? Is it Sanka? Do these lights already crap out? I mean, I literally just bought them. Not good. I think my internet's starting to crap a little bit. I just did that, Alex. Literally, almost as you were typing it. Are they plugged in? Yes. Can somebody just do a light test? All the regulars are gone. I think it's something with the app, because the app's not loading right now. Okay, there we go. Rolls, thank you, Rolls. Check it out. You guys wanna see this luscious cream sauce? Like, how easy it was to make? Yeah, we're good now. Look at this. Smooth, sexy, creamy. No, Annie J, how did you do that again? Boo this lady. Son of a bitch. Can I split my pants? Guess I pour this cream sauce. Ringo's here to give me CPR in case I need it. Okay, you come with me. coming in for a hug. Hi. 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 Hi, sweet boy. I think Ringo deserves some extra love. I think Ringo deserves some extra love because Brody's been getting so much attention from being hospitalized, right? So I think Ringo needs some extra love coming up. Check this out. Nice and creamy, right? If you're doing a picture, run this through a sieve, right? Check this out. Excuse me, ring a ding dong. Ring ding dong, ring a ding 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 dong. Bucket coming it's in to join the party. Salty is 27% peanut butter and 73% jelly, all that jelly. Party with bucket, man. Always a party with bucket. Boogie man, those are just bits, man. They're just bits. Twitch bits. Oh, baby, it's a party. Thank you so much. And the resub for 13 months, bucket coming in hot. So 
check it out. When you do this, this gets rid of all the lumps and all the things that curdle due to the heat. Happy Friday, my guy. See? I don't want that. I want the smooth, creamy, sexy. Right? Go ahead and get rid of that ish. Bam! Come in and take the good stuff. Oh, Pocket, I'm so hungry, Pocket. Creme de Lish coming in. Eight months sub. Let's get some love for my guy, Creme de Lish. And a shout out. Go buy that Creme de Lish. Now I have Lump by Presidents. <laughs> I love that song. Bucket coming in with the bits. Thank you, Bucket. We're obviously having the stream of the year so far, Bucket. It's only fitting that you are here. Welcome, my guy. Okay, so all this stuff, it's just cheese. It's just lumpy cheese. Delicious, lumpy cheese. Mm. Mm. Did you take your lactate? No, I don't even own it. I don't take it. You know, I figure if people can do all these crazy vegan, vegetarian, like cool cleanses and stuff, you know what kind of cleanses I do? Gnocchi and Fontina cream cleanses, right? Ice cream, pizza. I cleanse like every day. I just continuously tell my body, you're gonna like lactate or lactose, whether you like it or not, just take it. That's it. Steak cleanse. So now this is nice and smooth. Now this is nice and smooth. All right. So that way, the one day where I eat no cheese, my body's like, hey, thanks, man. Here's some extra energy. Like waking up, prime, like ready to go. Seed lip. I need to get it, man. I need to get the seed lip. Alcohol free. Willis, boys and girls, what you talking about, Willis? Thank you again, my friend. It's here. Can we get a round of applause? From the wish list, Willis bought the pasta maker next Friday, every Friday, every Friday is pasta night here in the salty household now because we got our pasta maker back. I couldn't in all good faith steal Lara's from her house when I moved. Willis came through big clutch in the one, two. Mrs. Willis is doing dry down January. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming, Bucket. I cleanse myself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka Salt. Gas. <laughs> M. We do Sunday pasta night, or we used to do Sunday pasta night, but now it's just me. So now that it's just me, you know what I do Sunday? I eat all the leftovers from the streams throughout the week. Who remembers what it's called when you take this beautifully smooth and luscious silky sauce and run your finger and it stays separated? What do the French call? <clears throat> this tastes like a high-end cream of tartarization. This, honestly, whoa! Are we almost halfway there? Wow, Boogie Mane! We are almost halfway to the indoor pizza fund. You guys know what that means. This section becomes the pizza central of Twitch indoor oven that gets as hot as our uni, meaning we can do pizza any day. Not when I have to hide it from the apartment complex and get kicked out of here. So thank you, thank you so much, Boogie Main. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like a super upscale like, has, and, all right, show of hands, who here has gotten Kraft mac and cheese in the box? You lick your finger, you put it in the sauce, and it's like super sharp and tangy, salty. It tastes like burning. <laughs> That's kind of what it tastes like because I added an ass load of salt, right? It's so good. So essentially, we're making gnocchi mac and cheese here, right? Where is the uni? It's here, Mod. We used it last night. The last two weeks, I tried to do an uni stream. 
First night, all my cameras and all my equipment died on me. Nothing more. Last night, tried to do an uni stream. I was so sick. Every time I looked down to make a pizza, I was literally dripping snot into it. <laughs> Here's our gnocchi. It's a lot. Okay, so we're gonna take one portion, one portion, okay? I don't need a lot. I don't need a lot. How much is a portion, do you say? Salty? I don't know. Two cups. It's a big one. So this is gonna be my it's a special it's a special sauce bucket. Now, one thing that we did come up with yesterday. That was pretty cool. We, we do have <laughs> to be snotty. We have a Ringo cam now, Bucket. Hey, look. He's not there. But we have a Ringo cam. Which I think is pretty cool. Because now we have the second camera up here. <laughs> Phantom Ringo. He's, he's right here. <laughs> Phantom, Phantom Ringo for the win. Ringo, it's not ready yet, bud. That cookie sheet now looks pretty good portion. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty good portion of gnocchi. This weighs pretty good. Pepperoni and booger pizza. Did you guys see the, the pizza picture I posted? It, I think it was pretty nice. All things considered that I could barely see or stop coughing and sneezing yesterday. I thought it was pretty good. Oh, mod, please do, man. Please do. Or better yet. You come visit here, then I'll come visit there because I have not been on vacation since, the, you know when the last time I went on vacation was mod? Literally when I was in New Orleans, the day I got partnered with Twitch, we took a two week road trip. When I got, uh, we left, the day I put in my application to become a Twitch partner, we left and I was gone for 13 days. We went on a road trip, Atlanta, New Orleans, uh, Savannah, Wilmington, North Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to do a vacation this year as Brody literally just cost me pretty much the, between moving and Brody in the hospital three times. Um, uh, you know, that's, that's the end. This year's a lost cause, but 2024, uh, what? 2024, it's happening. I'm going on. I'm going on a road trip. I know, Ringo. Hold up. I I, I can't wait. Minnesota's happening. Like I have to go to Minnesota maybe this year, even for a long weekend, like a three-day weekend. I'm ready. All right. So let's see if we can do something here. I'm gonna cleanse you in the waters of Lake Minnetonka. Hush, little Ringo. It's okay. I'm about to crush a pan of gnocchi. I'm Bruce tonight, guys. Come with me. Cream! My dog's name is Ringo. Welcome to the stream, Cream. The Scotty not looking too good. I don't know what we're doing here. I'm gonna show you guys how to properly cook gnocchi. B, B, B meat? Oh, I'll take a good B steak. Hey, Fiamma, welcome. I'm gonna try to teach you guys how to cook some gnocchi. There you go. Cooks quick. Cooks quick, gnocchi. Beanie, avenging pineapple. Man, the meat Bucket 5,000 said piss, but it was 99 cents. I'm gonna pop some tags. Only $20 in my pocket. <laughs> I'm gonna pop some tags. Okay, I just posted two images in Discord. Beautiful. Taste of Travis gifted you a sub. Yeah, cream, welcome. Boiling the gnocchi, yes. And we made a Fontina cream sauce. Just keeping it real simple. Right, we're keeping it real simple tonight because the quicker I can eat some food, get done this stream, I'm gonna clean, and then we gotta, I call it a just chatting stream. We're gonna chat and hang out. 
but I'm going to be playing video games while we do it. And then we can figure out maybe our menus for next week. We have no sponsored menus yet. Well, we do. We just haven't had them chosen yet, right? Try Taco Bell if you're broke. It's a memorable experience. Oh, yeah. I'll fuck with a Taco Bell. Lake Minnetonka. We got it. Maybe, maybe the salt, maybe the salty army meetup should be in Lake Minnetonka. I dig that idea. Ringo, get Ringo is literally underneath the tripod. Get away from the tripod. Get away from the tripod. I also have biscotti, but I kind of screwed up the recipe for biscotti. Not not smooth. I'll show you what I mean. Ah, oh, it doesn't even get low enough. Ringo, watch out. I think they're gonna work. I think it's actually melting enough that it might work. They're just gonna be some really thick and wide. I think that's why it said make them skinny because they knew it was gonna kinda spread out when it cooked. So watch how fast, watch how fast. Ringo, stop, bud. Watch how fast these gnocchi cook, okay? I've never had Del Taco. Never had Del Taco. Bro, uh, Ringo, out of the kitchen, please. What did I do? There we go. So we're gonna let, let this come to a full boil. It is salted. It is salted. I'm on the Wi-Fi, guys. It's gonna be a little trippy. I'm having Wi-Fi problems with the wireless camera. I'm not sure why. Maybe I gotta knock it down to like medium quality. Cause I have, re I have really good, why fi I have great internet. I have 500 megabytes up and down. There should be no problem, right? All right, so our water's boiling. Check it. Gnocchi, boiling water. This reminds me of Good Eats. Yonky, boiling water. Yeah, Wi-Fi is a different beast, huh? Start counting. I need Wi-Fi 6E. Yeah, maybe. I'll buy us inflatable pools and we can hang out in my backyard and get drunk and Salty can make us pizzas. Let's go. Well, gas is the way to go, 8-Bit Gamers. I don't have a choice. This is an apartment. I don't know where you guys live, but where I live, you don't get to choose whether you have gas or electric, right? In the house, we had gas. The apartment says this is what you got. You want it or not? So, yeah, I guess so. We're at about 20 seconds right now. 20 seconds, we're waiting for the gnocchi to float. Okay, once that gnocchi floats, it's done. My apologies for the dirty stove, it's salt. Pick out an uni, I'll order it, but I want pineapple on my pizza. Done. Coda 16. Or the Karoo 16. The beast of all beasts. Don't make fun of my mess, okay? Look at the sourdough starters there, guys. It's Hope. Hope's over there. My brand new Wi-Fi smart oven from Samsung gets hotter faster than gas. Like, don't put your hand on it. <laughs> All right, look, it's floating. We got floaters, right? So once they all kind of float, we're done. Then they're done, that's it. That's how long it takes to cook gnocchi. It's like a minute, maybe two. Yeah, mod, please do, man. So, now that we're floating, I like to take them right into a warm pan with some of the pasta water. With some of the pasta water, this starchy pasta water 
is going to mix with our sauce. And then once it becomes part of the sauce, it's going to say, yo, I want to go back home to the pasta. Essentially meaning that the starchy pasta water will help the sauce adhere to the gnocchi. Okay. So in it goes, saute it around for a minute. Take a little bit of our sauce, not a ton, All right? A little spoonful, just enough to coat. Whenever you're making pasta, it's not about the sauce. I know you want it to be, but it's not. Pasta's about the pasta. Think of the pasta as, think of the pasta as your, think of the pasta as your, uh, as your soup and the sauce is your cufflinks or your tie or your pocket square or your watch, right? The pasta is the main star. The sauce is secondary. Toss the coat. Serve it up. Yo, Nibs! How the hell you been, Nibs? Welcome to the new the new abode, man. Happy New Year. Okay. See that? Not a lot of extra sauce left. It's enough to coat the gnocchi. I would add some spinach or mushrooms. Yeah, anything that you want. Anything you want, right? I would love some mushrooms. Fontina and mushrooms go together like this, right? For me, I'm just gonna put in some fresh hand-torn basil, some fresh ground black pepper, and then some fresh grated undisputed king of cheeses, Parmigiano Reggiano, right? So just some hand-torn basil. You always wanna tear your basil, first because doing a chiffonade, okay? Doing a chiffonade looks horrible. Very, like 1980s, terrible. So you don't do that. Tear your basil. The reason you wanna tear it, it looks nice, and it releases the oils. That's not the right camera. It releases the oils that makes it like very aromatic, right? So there's our bowl. A little bit of fresh ground black pepper. Now we have black pepper that was fine ground in the wow bucket. I think you need some banana shoes in your life. Now dance salty dance, you hunk of salted meat. Salt. They're kind of banana -y. And. Right? So we got our homemade ricotta gnocchi. Chris Angry, what's up, Raiders? Brown Sugar Foodie, what's up? Eight Bit Gamers, thank you. This is the way. Eight Bit Gamers. Act like you are the Mandalorian. Say. Right. This so is just the our way. simple handmade gnocchi. <laughs> I was having it. I was having the whole thing. That was incredible. Yeah, 
Yeah, thank you, Chris Hangry. How you been, man? Biscotti got to come out. Biscotti are at the cool. So that's going to happen on a different time and different place because this guy wants to play some video games tonight. All right. So, 